G'day guys, welcome back to another episode. Now, I quite enjoy saying welcome back because not only does it mean welcome back to you, it also means welcome back for me as well. Every time they get to say that, it means I'm shooting another episode and today's really exciting because I have a brand new motor on my boat. So I've just been repowered with a Yamaha F40 LA, which I'm gonna show you a clip of that right now. And that's gone in replacement of my two-stroke Yamaha 40 CV that I had previously. So if you're wondering why I've been away from the channel for a little bit and not getting up to much, is because I've been sort of off the water. I ran into a bit of trouble a couple of trips back when I was out trying to film some stuff and I actually went out to the 40s, which is something I've never done before with the tinny. And when I got out there, I realized I was running short on fuel. I drove all the way back in and the motor started backfiring and it was playing up. So long story short, old motor, very hard to get parts for. I didn't want the mess around. I put so much time and effort into fishing all the time and I go to all of these remote places that I found it justifiable to spend the money and just get a brand new donk. So that's what I've done. Now, I've had the motor on for about a week but I've never put it on the water. It's never seen water before in its life. It's got zero hours on the clock. We're about to go put it in the drink for the very first time. It's a Tuesday afternoon after work. I've got no spare time at the moment to get out for boating and fishing, but as of next week, I'm gonna get back up on top of things. So today's video is gonna be me getting out on the water. We're gonna test this motor, see how she purrs, see if she gets up and goes. And then while we're out there, I'm gonna get the drone up, catch the sunset, and then I have plans to flick for a squid. So I brought one rod out with me, a few jigs, a bit of tackle. We'll flick for some squid and then I'm gonna spill some beans to you guys about what's upcoming. I've got some really cool ideas for the channel and I know the direction that I wanna head in. So I wanna share that with you guys, get your input and uh, yeah, we'll just catch up, get stuck into it and then we'll get busy again in the next few weeks onwards as the weather starts to warm up, the days get longer and things get better. Started as a whisper, message from a new world. It's unbelievably quiet. Zero hours. <laughs> this thing is unbelievable. I'm, I'm only just putting out of the marina right now. I'm just letting it sort of work itself in. So this outboard has never ever seen the water before. It didn't even get water tested. I just, I got too excited. I took it from the shop and said, nah, mate, I'll test it myself. We'll see how she goes getting up and down the rev range. If it's out, we'll change the prop, but otherwise it's all gonna be sweet. I'm very excited. So where I am right now, we're about to lose light shortly. So I'm gonna send the drone up, get a drone shot. We'll fang the boat up the coast, give it its first good run. We're just gonna hug the coastline here stay in nice and shallow because it's a bit choppy today and we're only in a 4.2 metre tinny and we'll see how she goes and it's straight away first impressions very smooth and very very touchy compared to the two stroke like low down in the rev range it just throws you whereas the two banger sort of you had to give it a bit and otherwise it would sort of stall with this straight off the mark so we'll see how we go and we'll see what we can get up to today the two stroke I had before did about 27 knots with one person on board, so I expect this will probably do pretty similar. We'll see what we can make of it, but I'm gonna send the drone up now. I've never used a drone over the ocean either, but we're gonna get it all happening. What a cool little eventful day so far. And you know, like I've only got half an hour to do this this afternoon. I'll throw some squid jigs until it gets pitch black and then I'll head back in. But 
Yeah, super chuffed already, so let's go. Look at that, you can't even hear it running. It's mind blowing, like you literally almost have to check to make sure it's running. <laughs> All right, drone's going up. We're going to get that sunset right there. We'll probably just miss it. I don't really know, but we'll get it anyway. We'll fang up and down and see how we go. All right, so I'm a bloody clown. Last night, I was in this big hurry to try and sort out the SD cards. I went and bought a new external hard drive, transferred all my footage across because I was like, I need to clear them all up so I can get out back filming because I ran out of space on everything. Done that. What I've just realized is I've left the SD card for this on the kitchen table at home. So this is without an SD, but it reckons at 4K, 30 frames per second, it's gonna get 10 minutes of recording. So I'm gonna send it up. I really hope this goes right, because I've never used it on the boat before, or anywhere like this for that matter. Um, never landed it above water, who knows? Anyway, we'll get her up, see what we can make of it, and we'll fang up and down, and I'll, uh, yeah, keep an eye on it, see how we go. That's us, let's see what we can do, eh? We're gonna head up along this coast here. Beautiful. So this is my home suburb of Quinns Rocks. You're seeing right now. So just losing us. All right, the drone's up. I'm confident that's going to be fine. It's going to turn into the sun a bit there. <laughs> yeah, baby. Whoa, mate. Go maneuver this marker here, ski area. Oh, wow! It is so hairy out here right now. <laughs> it is. I didn't think it was going to be this hairy out here and that I'd be struggling so hard right now. So we got like a southwester, terrible direction for the swell and wind to be coming in. It's really choking me up right now. I can't really give it a wide open throttle and really test it out, but I know it runs, so that's nice. I'm going to bring the drone back in now and then uh, I'll chat to you guys as well. Oh, how good is that? Zero hours. All right, so much has gone wrong already for this video from me having to rush straight home from work. So I didn't even get to the boat ramp till about quarter to six. I checked on Google, last light or sunset time tonight was 6.08 p.m. So I had about 20 minutes actually to be on the water and get all this done. It did not work out. And to be honest, I wasn't really expecting it to, but one thing that people always tell me they like about my videos and the way I do them is that they're real. And this was real, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put this on the internet because I need to, because I would absolutely be lying if I come out next video on Sunday when the weather's a bit better, and I go, hey guys, this is gonna be the maiden voyage with the new donk, because that just wouldn't be the truth. This is the first time I ran the motor, this is how it's gone. And the motor itself has gone great, but I haven't actually been able to test it to its full potential. So I actually really do genuinely need to give it a proper water test because I need to check the rev range, I need to see how it performs, I need to make sure the prop's right, I need to do all that funny stuff so I can trust it fully, take it up and down the rev range in the motor itself and then get it through its first tank and then I can start leaving it wide open and we can get out and about with it. But I'm very excited, I'm super glad to have it. I didn't want to get rid of the two stroke but the two stroke started playing up on me and that was after the Shark Bay trip. It started backfiring and whatnot. Nothing major, it was still getting me around, but 
when I took it to a mechanic, the mechanic said, look, mate, it could be this, 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 or this. And then I just said, you know what? It's an old motor. I don't want to mess around with it. I can let someone else who has the time and the knowledge mess around with it. I'll just pay. I'll buy a new one. So I went and found a dealer that had a new one for me. I called about 10 dealerships and they were all very hard to either get a motor out of because they couldn't get their hands on any or they were too busy to fit one. So the one that came back to me and said, yeah, we can do it in a week's time was Mandra Boat Shop. And the guy that I dealt with there, the manager, his name is Jeff. He was an absolute pleasure to deal with. They haven't taken any money off my bill for me to say this or anything. I did not ask, nothing like that. I just said, you know what? I appreciate good customer service and he was awesome to deal with. So I'm very, very grateful for them to have hooked me up with this, sorted out so quickly. Cheers for that, Jeff. I'll definitely recommend them. Now, what else have I got for you? I don't want to say too much. You know what? I'm not going to say too much. I'm going to leave this episode here in a second because I don't want to try and blurt too much to you guys and then lose your attention because we're going to fall into the pitch black. So what I will do is I'm going to head back into the marina in a moment. I'm going to drive back in pretty slowly because I've got to drive in back against the southwest swell and wind. So it's a bit choppy. The nose is lifting right up out of the water. I'm very light in the boat today. But I'm going to get back out on Sunday, so there's going to be another episode to follow up this one where I can give you a proper rundown, show you things properly. We can see how the motor actually really performs. We can do things right, drop a line in the water and whatnot. I'm going to get the cray pots back out in the water as well, so they're going to be in full flare. Plenty of videos coming up. I've got so much to share with you guys. I just need the right time and place to do it, and tonight is not it. I'm in such a rush with life at the moment, and I'm not keeping up. You know, I really tried my best to make tonight work and I'm out here and it feels nice to be honest, it feels really, really nice to be back on the water, but I've got to get home to my dogs, I've got to catch up on the day-to-day -day stuff, sort my life out and then we'll get back out there on the weekend. And then as the weather warms up and whatnot, man, it's going to be an awesome time. I've got so much in store for you guys, so thanks heaps for watching this one. I know it's been an absolute shamble, but it's real, it is what it is. The mode is cool, it's performing well, it runs and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode with a bit of sunlight.